protocol has been established. Give an honor to my father who is here. Amen. A lot of Andersons here. Amen. Woo. Amen. All right. Uh, I thank God for this chance, Bishop Brennan. Thank you. We're talking about Asher. Thank you. Thank you. And the tribe of Asher, we're going to go to Genesis, the 30th chapter, and the 13th verse. Uh -huh. And it says, oh. Leah said, Happy am I, Happy for the daughters will call me blessed. Uh -huh. And she called his name Asher. Uh -huh. Now here we find Leah who thought she could bear no more children. Uh -huh. So she gave Jacob her handmaid and Zilpah uh -huh. and said she bare him two sons. Uh -huh. One of which was the one I'm going to talk about who was Asher. Uh -huh. Asher's name means happy or blessed. All right. Yeah. The story of Leah is a common yeah. one. Yes, sir. Even in today's society, we have women uh -huh. that are constantly looking for the love and approval of a man uh -huh. that don't really care for them. Yeah. Thank you. One way or another. All right. It is not just women, it's happening to men too. Yes, sir. Many times in these type of relationships, a child is born. Yes, sir. Thank you. Now, when you got children born in this, uh -huh. and it's like they because they want to say uh -huh. that I have this love now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I have this child that came from us coming together and showing love. All right now. And it goes as they say, if you can't love the one you want, you love the one that you're with. All right. So remember, happiness, we're going to go to the subtopic, uh -huh. happiness born from grief. Happiness uh -huh. born from grief. Now, oh, I've God. always heard God. that men and women in yes, these God. type of situations mm -hmm. said that although the relationship wasn't good, uh -huh. there's one thing that came good out of the relationship, uh -huh. and that was the child. Yeah. Thank you. The child bring them so much joy, mm -hmm. and that's what Leah got. She God. loved the man Thank that you. didn't that's love God. her, Thank you. but she found joy in giving him children. All right, now, yes, sir. God blessed Asher and his lineage. Uh -huh. And God said that his bread shall be Thank fat. Yes, and he shall yield royal dainty. All right. Now, Bishop Redman must know when he was what he was doing. He gave me this because uh -huh. I love to eat. Uh -huh. So when we talk about royal deities, we're talking about food that is desired uh -huh. by the royalty. All right. Know how to prepare uh -huh. things. Thank you. These are delicacies that no one that, you know, somebody like me uh -huh. just can't go and buy because it's too expensive. All right. But we're talking about things that are made especially, especially. for kings and queens. Thank you. Yes. 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 But we as the children of God All right. has, on, have on. got to be fit for the king. All right. See, Asher fits these things that kings and queens pay top dollar. Yes. All right. And we've got to know that if we've got the anointing of God on our yes. lives, yes. it is not yes. worth it. What the world's trying to give us. All right. Now. What the world wants to give us, yes, they can't pay us for the anointing. Oh, the anointing is just, it, it, it costs too much for oh, yeah. me to get it. That I just got to give it to somebody else. Thank you. Glory. Thank you. Oh, glory. Our anointing is not cheap. Uh, it is born out of grief and sorrow. Uh -huh. yeah. Some of us yeah. have gone through things that we didn't see no way out. No way out. But it was all no. pressure no. to yes, get to a new destination yes, in God. Yeah. To get to a higher plane, a higher right. place of thought. Yes, because I can't stay at the same level right. because the same level gave me so much trouble. Yes, but when I get to a higher level, yes, when I get to the higher place in God, yes, I know who God is for myself. Yeah. I find out more and more who he is yeah. to me. Yeah. 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 All right. I'll tell a little testimony, then I'll finish. You know, I thank God because God took me through that about two years ago. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When my mother was in a terrible, my mother and my father and my aunt, when a terrible car accident. Yes, sir. And, you know, it, when you know your parents love God and you like, well, God, why would you allow that to happen? Uh -huh. And my mother, if you see her, she should be on her way. Uh -huh. You see her. She said, I don't charge God foolishly. I don't know why he took me through it. Right. But he said, I'm going to take you someplace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, come on. And I said, you know, the night when we got the call and everything, I was in the house. My sister was with her family. And we were just like, I was just there by myself. And I'm like, God, why? Why, why, why? But you know, God let me know. He said, I got her. Don't you worry. Thank I got her just like I got you. Right. Ain't nobody with you, but I'm going to no. send the angel Thank you. Yes. down to minister to you. And when God restores you, when God does the thing perfect, when he does it, he does it perfectly. And that's how I know 
Uh, that's why the scripture said the joy of the Lord uh, is our strength. Uh, see, we find joy because we've been beaten down so much. We've been downtrodden so much by this world. But we find joy. And they wonder where the joy comes from. That's because you can't see the joy. You can't see where it comes from. But because the joy of the Lord is my strength. I want to stop. But the joy of the Lord is my strength. And if you got the joy of the Lord, you have all that you need. 